Hi, Shelby and Amy here with OC Mom TV, and we are here with Michael Yoon. So tell us a little bit about what was the inspiration behind the show. Well, we really wanted to create something that would be an exciting adventure and kind of reinvent Mickey a little bit and harken back to that wonderful era where Mickey was a little bit more mischievous um, and take us through some of our favorite worlds of Disney characters, stories, and Disney songs. Great. So what's your role then with, the, with Mickey and the Magical Map? Well, I, I probably have the best job in all of the company because I get to kind of be there from the very beginning when we think about the ideas and brainstorm what ideas we want to develop and then bring in the creative teams and help kind of guide them through the whole process all the way up to opening night when we get to actually unveil the show. Which is a big day. When is that opening date? Well, today is our opening That's day. That's right. In fact, we are yeah. here today. Mm -hmm. So how long has it been? How long has this journey been from when from the... start to finish? We actually, uh, almost about two years, in fact, we really started developing the show. Wow. Um, and then just about five weeks ago went into rehearsal, so... So tell us a little bit about what we can expect when seeing the show. Well, uh, hopefully you'll, you'll see a really fun-filled journey where Mickey travels through various worlds on the map. The map itself is kind of one of our main characters, and it's really sort of a wonderful technological device that allows us to create animation, do a few special effects, um, have a little bit of fun with the scenery and the space itself. That's great. Now tell us a little bit about the music. Did you play any role in the music of the show? Uh, well, you know, we obviously we tell the story with the music, so we help develop the music. We had an incredible music production team, uh, Bruce Healy and Matt Walker, our music producers, and they were able to work with Timothy Williams, who's our arranger, to take those classic Disney songs and kind of give them a little bit of a lift, give them a little bit of a, a different take um, that hopefully kind of finds a wonderful feeling on the stage. And how does this show differ from other shows here at Disneyland? Well, I think all the entertainment at Disneyland is so rich and so varied, from the smallest experiences of meeting a character or meeting a princess to the biggest spectacle of something like World of Color. And this, for me, is a really heartfelt, fun show that, you know, I think uh, hopefully families will get to enjoy together and really remind them of why they come to the park, that That's moment right. of being together. Absolutely. So in the whole process, from concept to development, what was the most challenging part? Well, the most challenging part is is always sort of, uh, you know, the final moments when you're putting everything together and, and trying to bring the show to life in the space. And the space is unique because it's outdoors, it's open air, so you don't really get control over the lighting or the sound. And that's something that we really had to think about as we were developing the show, how to kind of mitigate that and make use and embrace the space rather than try to fight it. And thank you, everyone, for joining us on OC Mom TV today here at Disneyland.